guys, here today with a highly requested video on why I went natural, things that I used in my transitioning phase, and the backlash or kind of the pros and cons of going natural. So let's start with this. Going natural is not easy. It's not. You have to have a lot of patience and be willing to self-reflect and work with your hair because it's a learning process. Everybody's hair is different and it's just gonna take time to learn what works best for your hair, period. That's what's gonna happen, have to happen. No, I, no, okay. To start, I've been natural for six years now and I've had a couple of major setbacks in, within that six years. But um, all in all, I'm very, very thankful that I did go natural um, and here's why. So initially I went natural wondering, what does my natural hair texture look like? Do I have curly hair? Do I have kinky hair? Do I have um, wavy hair? I wasn't really sure because since a child I had been getting relaxers, but I didn't get them very often. It was more of like twice a year, like special occasion. Let me make sure my hair is laid and super straight. So it was typically in July, which is my birthday, and then around the holidays, so like Christmas time. So maybe twice a year is when I got a relaxer. And then in the meantime, I would be able to just flat iron my hair at my roots and they got straight and everything matched up. So it like never was a big deal for me to stop getting relaxers um, or not get relaxers or anything like that. But what was a big deal was me always having straight hair. Um, so as a child, as you guys can see, I have a large forehead and so I never felt comfortable with my hair in a ponytail. I never felt comfortable with my hair pulled back in any way. And for years I wore bangs. And so going natural to me meant a puff. I had to, I was gonna have to have my hair pulled back because I didn't know how to braid, I didn't know how to twist. And so that's what was gonna happen and there was no way I was ever gonna just be walking around with my forehead out because I just was really, really insecure about it. Um, so that's part of, reason, part of the reason why I decided to go natural is when I had my daughter, Naomi, um, Naomi has really, really curly hair. And I thought, man, how am I going to get her to love her curls if I don't love mine. Never dawned on me until I had her. And I thought, I'm gonna go natural. I can do this, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go natural. So then I started watching YouTube videos and everybody was bit chopping. And I'm like, uh, yeah, nah. I'm not about to shave my head. Like, to me, that's what the big chop meant. And I was like, yeah, I don't think I can do that. So I'll let it grow out a couple inches and then I'm gonna big chop and then I'm gonna be brave enough to big chop. Well, that never happened. I was so terrified and I just couldn't do it. And then when Naomi was about two, so in 2012, my niece big chopped and didn't tell anybody, came home or came to my house one day and she had, all her hair was like gone. It was like Micah's hair basically. Um, and I was like, oh my God, like you cut your hair. And it was so cute on her. She was so, so cute. And I thought, if she can do it, I can do it. And she's in high school. So she's facing peer pressure and you know, everything to have this straight hair, or perfect hair or whatever. So if she can do it, I can do it. I chickened out. Went to the shop and was like, ah, I changed my mind. Just maybe wash it, but I'm not, I'm not gonna let you cut my hair. A couple of things that I experienced with my transitioning phase um, that I noticed was at the time I was working in corporate America. And so to go from having free flowing straight hair with some curls in it to a puff or a twist out or wearing my hair kind of how it is now, like just twist going back and I would put it in a bun or in a ponytail. Um, initially people were kind of like, are you in the middle of a life crisis? Like, life crisis? What's going on right now? And I was just like, I'm transitioning. And me being the only African American in my office and one of the only few in my building, they had no idea what I was doing. And people legit thought I was like going crazy or something. Um, 
And so dealing with that was a little bit difficult. There were a couple times where I was just like, ah, I'm just gonna flat iron my hair because I'm tired of getting the questions about my hair. I'm tired of people looking or treating me differently because my hair looks different. Like I just, it was an adjustment. Um, so I did not go back to flat iron my hair. I started just doing a twist out all the time. So my best friend taught me how to twist. And let me tell y'all, when I first learned how to twist, it was raggedy. It was more like a weird wave pattern than it was an actual like twist out, a defined twist out. But that is what I was comfortable with. So that's what I did was twist outs for the longest time. Um, so those are the reasons why I went natural. I wanted to, you know, be able to set good examples for my daughter. I wanted to be able to get to know the real me. I wanted to be able to be vulnerable and accept me for who I was, everything about me, my hair, my big forehead, you know, my muscular arms or lack of muscles or whatever the case may be. I wanted to just be me. That's it. And if you didn't like it, then oh well. I don't know what else to tell you. Um, so those are my reasons for going natural. Now the steps that I took as far as transitioning, because Big Chop was not for me. I was terrified, y'all. It was already hard enough learning to deal with my transitioning hair. But to Big Chop, or to, it was hard enough deciding to go natural, I should say. And then to Big Chop was just, it was too much. So I decided to go ahead and transition. Um, so I'm going to show you a couple of the products that I used when I transitioned. Then the first thing I did was I stopped shampooing my hair. That's simple. I shampooed my hair maybe once a month to get like the product buildup off of my scalp. But that was it. So my number one product was this. Tresemme Naturals. This bottle is, what, 39 ounces? And you can get this at Walgreens, at Walmart, at Target, like any place. And it was like $4. So this would last me easily a month, if not longer. Um, but what that did for me was create a lot of slip. So it made it easier to detangle my hair in the shower. The next thing I picked up was a wide tooth comb. So I used to be able to use just a regular little skinny comb. No, ma'am. Not anymore. So I got a white tube comb. I also invested in a spray bottle because as we all know, when you have relaxed hair, water is like kryptonite. You do not ever put water in your hair unless you're washing it. But with natural hair, your hair needs that moisture. So I had to get a spray bottle. Um, I also invested in one of these little bottles. I don't know exactly what they're called. But I would put like apple cider vinegar in here um, and water to be able to help cleanse my scalp um, since I stopped using shampoo. So although I was co-washing, I would still use some apple cider vinegar maybe once every week, um, every other week, kind of just depending on what I did to my hair so I could make sure that my scalp was clean. I also purchased a Denman brush, which... To be honest, I don't use this. I did initially, um, but now I don't use it. But it was it was good during my transitioning phase. I will say that because I would just detangle from the bottom and kind of work my way up and you know get everything. And it was good for when my hair was straight too. Do you have something to add? You weren't even born yet. When mommy went natural, you weren't born. You weren't even a twinkle in my eye. Yeah, 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 you want your bank? Okay, um, what else? <laughs> I also went and got like an industrial size box of these. Little plastic caps. I use these when I deep condition my hair. And so these were like awesome. A bonnet. Cause everybody needs a bonnet, a silk bonnet. A silk scarf kind of long, long silk scarf, silk scarf. And then this was also another go-to for me. Three Minute Miracle, Ozzy Moist. This is a really good product. I'm trying to get it to focus, there we go. Really good product, um, does have a lot of slip. And I also use this as a deep conditioner um, and I still use it today. 
and then oils. I use jojoba oil, carrot oil, avocado oil, um, coconut oil, olive oil, castor oil. For me, this is a good sealing oil. So I still use this. So those are kind of the things that, those were my staples for transitioning. Um, and like I said before, I still use those products on a regular basis. Now, let me give you a couple of tips for just going natural. Say, have patience, be confident, be willing to try new things. That's a big deal. Um, just, you know, whether it's pulling your hair in a ponytail, doing a twist out, doing, um, I, I don't know, updos. Like I learned how to twist up and I would just twist all my hair. So the third thing is to not focus on the length of your hair, focus on the health of your hair. Length will come. As long as your hair is healthy, it'll grow and it'll get long. But don't be so stuck on, oh my God, did my hair grow two inches? Did it grow a half inch? Like, is my hair at my shoulders yet? Is it at my bra strap? Or whatever the case may be, just work on your hair being healthy. Deep condition your hair every week. Use less shampoos. Use little to no heat on your hair. That includes blow drying, that's still heat, guys. Um, and lastly, number four, number four, do it for you. Don't go natural because of someone else. You know what I mean? Like, oh my God, social media is beaming with these big froze and I want to be hip, so I'm going to go natural. Or social media girls have all these nice curls and I think my hair is going to look like theirs, so I'm going to go natural. Your hair is only going to look like whatever God created it to look like. You're not going to look like a whoever else that you see on Instagram. Ain't no telling what, if they got on a wig nowadays, you just don't know, okay? Love your hair. Love yourself. Be confident. Try new things. Have patience. And most importantly, do it for you.